Listen, I ain't chase cash, cause I'm the cash cow. Money chase me, let the gang know how. When they split a two way, put our chains on jump. What came with the fame on the fan came up? Yo. Oh, go on, family. Y'all don't know the vibes, man. To be fair, I'm not locked in with these people. I really am not. But it's drama. And why I like to bring you guys entertainment. Feel me? So today, for the 2K community, the ballers, anyone who knows Pretty Boy Fredo, he has a um group called SSH, I think. Jack. And some agent guy, I don't know his real name, but some agent double or whatever, apparently got exposed and got kicked from the group. You check? So we're going to react to his side of the story because there's two sides of the stories. And then we're going to do um, Fredo's on you. feel me? But if y'all like this video, make sure y'all subscribe, like, and turn your post notifications on, please. The more likes, the more we get recommended. You feel me? Love you guys. Let's keep these real, raw, and real reactions going. Check. No scripts, no nothing. I just come on here and do me because I can, because I'm not fake. And I keep 100% real all the time for you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's like 9.49 here and I'm working. You feel me? Just came. Hey, you feel me? Just came from doing a little workout, meditating, you know, the vibes. Um, I just did my hair. That's why I have this thing on here, Jack. Right now looking crispy. You feel me? Got a new fresh. Cut the beard off. Look like a condom right now, but just cool. <laughs> just cool. We're going to react to this, though, fellas. I hope you all doing good today. Make sure I let off guys you not fail. You see me? And I can see what's going on here. Because I see pretty boy Fredo and a lot of beef. And especially with them man. And we want to see what's going on. If this is fake or real. So don't know my lens of the realest lens. So I can pick up on fake like that. You check? So we're going to get straight into this video. From, I'm going to cut the talking. Because it says that Fredo tried to cancel me. He failed. Did he? So over the past few days, you might have heard a character by the name of Pretty Boy Fredo has been trying his damnness to cancel me over some comments I made about him over the past few years. Now, those comments was based in reality. It was some real criticism I had. There was a video he made where he- Okay, I don't, this guy isn't a part of that SSA shit, I don't think, bro. I think they just be collabing sometimes, but yeah, I think Fredo's just trying to cancel this nigga, bro. Pretended a dude was a predator and he caught him. I was arguing, hey Fredo, not wrong with fake videos, bro, but fake predator videos, you're pushing the line. Fredo had a big meetup in the middle of all this bull going on. I argued, hey Fredo, that's real irresponsible. So then Fredo pretended as though he just found out about me and reacted across his Instagram where he put out a post. He was on his Instagram stories over the past few days talking. He was on Instagram live a couple times doing the same, on Twitter, and of course the YouTube video that most of you guys have probably seen. The reason I'm making this video is because he lied about a whole lot of things. And if you didn't double check or do your due diligence, you just believe me to be some evil monster of a human being. Fredo, you are- What did he say though? We gonna get straight into it, but this Fredo guy looks a bit sus to me, and I gonna lie. He just tell people energy, the man just looks sus. <laughs> the man- you know, I was down in my car, fruit cake, but I don't know him. Jack, that's just one from my eyes. I can't really judge anyone unless I'm, I, I've actually interacted with them face to face. That's why I don't take anything that the media says serious or anything. I don't know these people. I can't tell their body language, nothing when I'm around them to know how they actually think. So I, therefore, I can only give my opinions. No hate, no love. You feel me? It's coming from a place of neutrality where it's like, I'm taking myself out of the situation and seeing something for what it is. You feel me? So, yeah, anyway. The biggest hypocrite on the entirety oh. of this platform. Your entire video is riddled with hypocrisy and lies. Your friend sat there and said, I made 10 videos about you. The truth, I made three over the course of the last oh, three years. Right. You laughed hysterically at the idea that I made a 25 minute video criticizing you. Your response was 25 minutes. You argue, I'm obsessed with you, I'm a fan. You kept calling me an eater, a glizzy gladiator. But while I was out there shooting a &P videos, you were spending the whole day blocking people on Twitter to the point where you had to private your Twitter. That's days. You really could have okay, been out there doing what you always love talking about. He's AMP, bro. All these niggas are in the 2K community, dog. Yeah, sure. Making money. You was in there censoring.
answering no. And you do a lot of that, don't you, Fredo? In this original video where you felt very comfortable just telling blatant lies about me, you did the same. And that's the main thing I, I, I kind of want to hit on right now. Because uh, while most people know this to not be the case, anybody who doesn't know who I am is going to be like, oh, well, why would Agent say something like that? In Fredo's video, he muted his entire comment section and pinned only one post, which is his. And he says this, wishing death upon an innocent child is disgusting. You deserve to be canceled. You might be wondering, when did I do that? Well, that's what I was wondering when I watched the video. Well, let's listen to Fredo say it in his words. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys the worst part about it all. This kid had his fans spamming me on Twitter death threats to my daughter, to my child. An innocent being. How disgusting he doesn't even you know, are. You nigga. do not deserve a channel. You Damn, bro. Your daughter didn't even know what you're doing. Bro. You see how she's turning on this. My daddy, what are you talking about? Or cancel. And now, what kind of human being would do such a thing? And he made this a big focus throughout the entirety of his video that I said that about his daughter. When in reality, not only have I not said that, but I have said nothing to inspire any of the people that watch me to say that. Now, the Twitter account in question that he's referencing here is deleted. I was curious who this guy was that I was getting blamed for. No affiliation here. So I went through the archives. And the only interaction between me and him in the month his Twitter account was even active was being called Cap on July 19th about a tweet I made. I don't even know what tweet that is. But there is five instances here. Boom, 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 boom of him joining your giveaways, Fredo. So who knows what this guy's motivation was for saying those disgusting things, but to argue that it was me, even though there was no evidence I ever inspired anyone to go to your channel and say anything is crazy. Yeah, you facts, bro. That's just how fans are, like supporters, whatever. You guys, we have such a good relationship with each other and a connection to each other that you feel someone's like talking bad on your in favorite influence or favorite personality, then you feel like it's in your nature to go and speak out, be the voice of, you know, his fan base, because you're a part of that. Um, sometimes that's not the smartest way, because sometimes y'all stick up certain influences, make them think that, as you see, that, that I'm sending my supporters to go bash you, which I'm not, it's just, my fans rock with me, you can't hate for that, bro. So don't just, what I'm getting from this is that Fred was accusing this man of sending his fans to go send his daughter death threats and all that shit. But that's just, he knows the game, bro. That's just how it is, bro. So you can't come with that. Like, don't make no sense. You feel me? So it's like, all right, let's see what's up. I haven't seen Fredo's side, though. But that man's so animated, I don't even know, bro. Can never tell when he's serious, bro. Just tell my, my, my this guy that he's talking about his emotion. You could just as equally have guessed that he was pissed he ain't win one of your giveaways. But regardless of the reason why this individual did this, to sit there and make it a main point of your video and to look here and make it the only comment in your video, you're clearly trying to manipulate. Because what reason would I have to do something that low and disgusting? Zero. Have I ever done that in the past? No. But the f the part is, is now there's gonna be hundreds of thousands of people that watch his video. It's not gonna watch my video. That's gonna think I said those things. In Fredo's video, he argued that I've never said nothing positive about Fredo. Not true. In fact, in the video he was reacting to, there was positive things I said. He just cut him out. One of those things was defending Fredo, that saying that dick. although he did host a meetup in New York while all this Rona stuff is going on, he's not responsible for the, the actions right of screen, all his bro. audience. Not like the people. Not funny. Out here have no responsibility and it's all Fredo's fault. I hate that frame of thinking. The fact that although people did come for him, he did host the event. Other people still bear responsibility. They decided to come. I literally protected you saying you can't be responsible for the actions of your audience. And I even went as far as to recite some Eminem lyrics where he argued the same. Yeah, this is how the lyric went. They say that music can alter moods and talk to you. Well, can it load a gun up for you and cock it too? Well, if it can, then next time you assault a dude, just tell the judge it was my fault and now I'll get sued. So then how- Okay, Eminem. But listen, I think, um, what you talking about now, I think you talking about the Fredo situation where he had a meetup during this whole pandemic. And there was, during the pandemic and there were so many people, there were so many people there that they set off coronavirus regulations and so he should have took precautions and he should have known 
And he's saying now that he mentioned to Fredo it wasn't a good idea. And I think I heard something about Fredo having coronavirus or testing positive for that shit. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Don't call me on that. But I think something I went bad and yeah, she must have got a lot of scrutiny for it. For it, you feel me? So this guy is just saying that, yo, I told you, bro. He been trying to help Fredo. I guess he's just trying to make his argument, but bro, this man is tripping. How could you sit there and at the tripping, end of your video say this? And also, when the hate don't work, they start. To to these goofy, I hate niggas that had that little fucking, uh, fucking hairline above the fucking actual hairline, bro. Fuck is you? What is that, bro? What is that, bro? Why these niggas look like two fucking action figures? Nigga knees ashy as hell, bro. Nigga, nigga got them. Nigga put them holes in his pants himself. Fuck you talking about? This nigga now put too much conditioner in his hair. Put too much oil in his hair. Nigga, that shit stuck into your locks. What you talking about? Your, your locks are forever white, bro. Look at the roots of this shit, bro. That shit is dirt. Tell me lies, bro. The level of projection in your video is scary. I am a guy on YouTube who just makes anywhere from gaming to reaction videos, who over the past three years has made three videos criticizing you. And now I'm a fan and a quote-unquote dick eater? Fredo, you're saying those things as if, like, you, the things you did were just like, ah, everybody does those. No, you, you were doing fake predator videos. That's crazy. And your response to being criticized shouldn't be, oh, that guy wanted clout. How is that possible? I dropped that video on my second channel. And I think, I genuinely believe this to be true. Hold on. Your anger stems from the fact that your apology video, which has 750,000 views, didn't perform as well as my reaction to your apology video which has 860,000 views. And there's no point of me trying to out-ego you. You pull more views than I do. Dude. Facts. Anytime someone is making a video about somebody that has more clout than them on the internet, the, the guy with the smaller channel has more to gain. Fact. But what's also a fact is that I genuinely considered to make a commentary channel back in 2018, and I decided not to because I was worried about where that might lead. I need a video. Uh, uh, this person did this. Let me just say something negative about them for views. I made the express decision to not make that kind of channel because I was worried about what kind of person I would be at the end of it. I know I could have made plenty of dope videos. Right. Some of them would have been f***ing hilarious. There's plenty to criticize on the website. There's entire communities of people doing it, and I rarely ever make that type of content. But you do so many crazy things that from time to time, I just indulge. Should I mind my own business? You might be able to make the case, man. You can make that case for a lot of people here on YouTube. But don't sit there on your video, pretend I made 10, 20 videos about you. That's not the case. Stop capping, man. But the most hilarious part about all of this is, is he just revels in the hypocrisy. He's so deep in it, he can't even spot it when it's all around him. Because if you've been paying attention to his Instagram, his Twitter, you have seen some crazy I wish nothing but the worst for you. Seriously. I wish nothing but the worst for you. You, you ugly piece of shit, you trash as hell. You wish you wish death for my daughter, I wish nothing but the worst for you, my nigga. I saw everything that I love. So Fredo, I never did that. What you just did right there, I never did that. Now, are you saying that all those death threats I've been getting about me and my family and my friends over the past few days, you're responsible for those? I mean, you did explicitly ask people to go there with malicious intent. I was working with facts. I saw something, I criticized it. When you reacted, you were not working with facts. You were willing to just bridge any gap to make it seem like I was an evil human being mm -hmm. when you know that not to be the case. Funny thing is, is most people know that not to be the case. But your fans, your impressionable fans, they ain't know that. That's why they sat there sending me those death threats. They think I'm an evil human being. I can't blame them for that. Only information they have about me is what you told them, and it's pretty damning information, if I should say so myself. Then you sat there, it sent me an invitation, so I guess, and, and you can come and we could just talk things out. And in the same video, proceeded to say this. How disgusting and a pig you are. You do not deserve a channel. You are canceled. And as a father, it's on site, bro. So which one is? Nigga, nigga, why is you spitting on me, bro? That's why I don't watch that nigga, bro. That nigga be spitting on me every time I'm trying to fucking do something, bro. That nigga, is it? I don't know, nigga, but you know what I'm not going to do is pull up to a city that I'm not from with no security. Get on a pretty boy Fredo flight to a pretty boy <laughs> I'm just thinking, bro. 
Uh, for everything. If you take that hat off now, bro, his head go look fucked up, bro. Fuck you talking about? Fredo, I can already see through Fredo, bro. This man's genuinely blaming his fans. This guy, this, not, this man's attaching him, him to his fans to him, bro. Saying that his fans, his fans is telling him to, so it's t he's basically saying that this guy's sending his daughter death threats, bro. And his fans is doing it, you feel me? At the same time, I'm not sure of the situation. If he took the initiative to go on Twitter or whatever it is, Instagram, and tell his fans, yo, do not say hey to this nigga. No, don't, don't do that shit, bro. Feel me? I just, I'm just saying my opinion. I'm just saying what I have to say. If he was to say that, then yeah, that's cause safe, bro. But at the same time, Fredo still should have the awareness and the knowledge. But it's clear that he probably just doesn't like this kid, bro. Just because of the videos he made on him in the past, bro. Is what it is, my nigga. Fuck Fredo. Fuck any kind of that shit, bro. At the end of the day, what is it doing to affect you, bro? If you're letting it affect you. Maybe you're going to have haters talking shit. But hey, if you don't have haters, bro, you're not doing anything. If you don't have hate coming to your channel, bro, that's even better, bro. Because guess what? Put, stay consistent. Keep doing your shit. And show the hate, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm still growing regardless. So y'all can keep coming back and hating on me. But at the same time, I'm still going to be going up. You check? It don't matter. Feel me? So just keep doing your thing, bro. You feel me? Fred is a, a goofy, bro. This is not the first time I'm, I'm hearing shit in the industry around, on YouTube around this nigga, bro. You hear me? Fredo car is gonna take me to a pretty boy Fredo destination. I'm not gonna do that. That's for sure. You want the worst for me, Fredo? Because I criticized you three times over the course of three years. And, and you know what's crazy? He would sit there in the video and be like, he would look at me and be like, oh, he's just so jealous. He just hates to see people give love. You know what's crazy? Niggas hate to see love, bro. Oh, I was just about to say that. Niggas hate to see that. that. Bro, yo, this when they seen New York come up. Look at this nigga. This dread nigga, no device, but you know, man, why am I in this for us. video, bro? Waffling at these niggas, bro. Smoking your joint right now. Niggas enraged, bro. Like, like, I'm an enemy of love or something like that. How could that be the case, Fredo? On my podcast, I'd sit there. We had an NBA 2K power ranking. Glow asked me the question, hey, yo, where were Pretty Boy Fredo on 2K16 rank? Oh, he was up there. You was doing numbers. I'm not, you act like I'm just sitting here shitting on you all the time. I said, Fredo, he'd be at the top, man. He was killing the game 2K16. Yo, Fredo, you were the guy, bro. In 2K16, that inspired a ton of people to drop content, part content, my court content. You had that influence on people. People grew up watching your damn videos, and you really had that kind of positive influence on people. I believe that to be the case. But somewhere along the line, something changed, money, and you become this guy fame. who's so fucking hard. The clouds. When it comes in abundance, you don't want to lose it, because you lose vision of the bigger picture. Physical shit don't matter. Emotional shit don't matter, because they only going to make you feel happy for a certain amount of time. Once that wears off, you feel shit. Cause you never, it wasn't useful to you or your energy or your vibration, my nigga. That shit should be used as a tool to make happy moments, memories, all that shit. All that shit, y'all, all that shit is meant to be made as a tool. Money It's a tool for you to live happily and and. Live free with your friends and family, the people you love, bro. Creating moments, traveling. That's what it's for. It's not for you to go buy a million and one fucking cars, a million and one fucking clothes, and be happy because you have fucking clothes and cars, bro. No. I ain't trying to have a man or a big house. I just have a family. Because guess what? That shit going to make me... It's going to be nice buying it and having it, yeah? But at the same time, I need people to enjoy it with. I need people to experience life where you know loving people not people that want to just eat off off you bro you feel me and that's a problem that's going into like problems and antique and stuff but that's problems every everywhere bro you know what i'm saying hungry for clout you'd say whatever it takes nigga, to crush nigga, somebody nigga, nigga i don't want to fight you look at me do i seem like the kind of guy do i come around trying to look hard ever nope
I don't give you that impression. I do not want to fight you. Sat there and said, we, we could do a, a boxing match. That's how you want to resolve the situation. You think Fredo Deadass thinks applying dead memes in a boxing match is the most constructive resolution for what he's assuming to be a feud. I'm going to keep it a bean. And this is going to be hard for some of y'all to believe. I don't hate you. The only person in life I hate is Andrea Bragnani because he ruined my Raptors for the better part of a decade. That's the only person, man. I actually, my grade five teacher, nah, she was on my nerves. She hate me for no reason. I didn't even do anything to her. It made no sense. Fredo, you sat there on your video and tried to cancel me, man. I never do shit like that. I swear to God. I'm not gonna sit there and participate in that shit and try and cancel you back. I don't like that. You like Fredo, watch a Fredo video. You don't like Fredo, then do not watch that Fredo video. It's up to you. It's always up to you. Same applies to me. Man, I sat there, tried to drag my fucking name over the course of two days. I'm out there trying to shoot videos. I look down at my phone, blowing up. People telling me, yo, Fredo said this about you. What? And the hilarious part was, throughout the entirety of the video, he had his two friends to the side of him, sitting there telling me they ain't know who I was. Who are you? Nobody knows who you are. I just sat there. They kept telling me how I don't have money and nobody knows who I am and I'm on his dick. I'm like, man, I, I was at, I was on the phone like, y'all, does anybody on the internet know who these guys are? They had to be hella clouded. That nigga with the fucking lion in on his hair, I was definitely a batty fish fruitcake, bro. He fuck batty, bro. Niggas, watch niggas with those friends, it's sus, bro. I know the nigga had dirty roots to his lungs, bro. He ain't had a retwist in years. Been using too much fucking conditioner and shit, bro. Not even washing out this shit when you use it, bro. Them niggas rock, bro. The way they was talking, yo, Fredo, just keep it, keep it, keep it constructive, right? That's what I tried to do with my videos. Just keep it constructive, bro. You don't like me? That's cool. You sat there in video, tried to tell me how you didn't want to be my friend. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> I never made an application to be your fucking friend neither. Yo, this is such an interesting situation to me bag because frenzy. there's been plenty of people who sat there and criticized Fredo in the past. H3, H3, man. Niggas would be, I'd feel like they're accomplishing their life and feel like niggas gonna be begging them to be friends with them. You stupid, bro. If I don't fuck with you as a person, you're more, how the man go on, bro? You're still a major ass nigga, bro. I can't fuck with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, you can be the big, you can be the biggest celebrity out there, bro. Most money, more shit. Nigga, if you ain't a good person from here, nigga, I'm not fucking with you. At the end of the day, we ain't gonna get nowhere in our relationship, you feel me? Because we can't measure vibrate on the same level. Dog, I couldn't give a fuck if someone has clout, clout, dog. No, that doesn't make you, that doesn't make you a good person. That doesn't make you above anyone else, bro. Niggas, niggas would do the most to get power, bro. I still be weak when they have power, bro. Still not love themselves when they gain all that power, bro. Dog, these niggas, dog, don't make them fool you. Your favorite celebrity is a fucking dick face. Your favorite celebrity is a is a low vibration, and your favorite celebrity is not what you think they are, dog. Trust me. No joke. The proof is in the pudding, dog. I made a video criticizing him in the past. Fredo in his video said it was never somebody with more subscribers, but there's evidence of that. Hold on. So why is this video on the trending tab? And if we skip forward here a little tad bit, you could see. <laughs> So it's H3H3 H3 trying to get caught from Pretty Boy Fredo. Hold on now, H3. You might be caught chasing and dick eating. Hold on, hold on. Then, then, and then Pretty Boy Fredo's teammates right here Ooh. is gonna sit there and tell you guys who's H3H3. H3? What do we know who H3H3 H3 is? is and you can't do that now, now can you? Time. Every two minutes you just walk into a new contradiction and you sit there and make accusations, baseless, with absolutely no evidence. Walk into a third contradiction. The amount of times you just kept doing that, bro. Nobody believes you. Yo, Fredo, this is the end of it. I'm not, this is not like a series. I'm not gonna make a seven part documentary. You sit here, pretend like I'm trying to get cut from you is not the case. Had a few criticisms of you over the past and that's how you decided to respond. Cool, but I'm not gonna just let some lies sit there about me. This is my response to your lies, all right? You could let this shit go or you could just try and make up more lies. But the reality of the situation is that people don't believe you anyway. So I won't be responding. Hey, if you guys are new, you haven't already. Bro, that's the end of the video, man. Fredo, I feel it. I don't even think I want to watch his side, bro, because just from that small clips, I can just tell them I'm just super animated. And based on, like, past situations I've had as well, like, the man is do anything to get some sort of illicit emotion out to people, dog. The man do anything to entertain someone. The man would 
go against his morals to do what he got to do to make someone else look bad and make him look better. Is what it is. This guy, to me, I don't know him, but he's giving me a real, you know, compassionate energy. Like he, he's a, like he gives to people, like he's an empath, I feel. Um, something about him. But, yeah, I heard this shit happen with when Fred and DDG and McQueen and so together. And it's just funny, bro. It's funny how these niggas be um, putting on their masks, bro. They got their mask on, bro, anything. They offset shit that said it, man. They do anything for clout, man. It is what it is. How we live. Can't hate. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. You feel me? But when the player starts acting like a fucking fruitcake, then hate the player, bro. And when you become in see transparent, like you can see through everything, all the bullshit he does, and he continues doing doing it like no one knows, then yeah. Hate the game, hate the player, bro. Feel me? I said to say, family, let love guide you now. Fair. I mean, I feel like agent, whatever his name is, said what he had to say. He did what he had to do. And we live, baby. Let's go.